And here we are in C showing 325 volts. In B, 216 volts. A, 1 volt. We'll get to that. I think that's due to a, to a faulty rapid shutdown. There's another inverter over here. So there is no C on this one, just A and B. B is given 397 volts. A is dead. Okay, I'll be back in a bit, going on the roof. This is the west face, and this is the south face. The west face, the lines drop into that solar deck box, come through, come up into this one through these two, and then feed over to here, to the, uh, to what, input A on this rapid shutdown. This line, this is the return line from way down there at the end. It comes down here. It's this. It comes to this panel here, and here's the two leads from the from this south face. Let's do some testing here. First, let's establish that the that there is power from the panels. I'm set on a thousand volts on this meter that doesn't that is a little less troublesome than that one downstairs. I'm gonna connect to this is the line coming from the west. 400 volts. As expected, there are nine panels. No, there are 11 panels on that run. Now, let's check the other. These two on the right are the output. I don't remember which output, but it's one of the outputs from the rapid shutdown. And as we found downstairs, it's dead. Let's do the other output. And it is dead. Okay, now to, f to fully establish that power is getting to the rapid shutdown, I have put the pins, the leads, in side A, which as I mentioned feeds from the west face. And here we see 400 volts. Let's go over to side B. Three hundred and twenty volts off of nine panels. So power is getting to the rapid shutdown. On this side, and show that power is not coming out this side. Showing zero volts there. Two volts. Three volts. Power into the shutdown. Oh, staying on three even after I pull it out. Interesting. Now it's settled down to zero. Let's make sure everything's cool. Yep, 400 volts over here. Okay. Now I'm going to change this rapid shutdown out and put this one in. This is one that I obtained from my sister that SMA replaced previously. Its problem was something to the effect of sometimes it worked and sometimes it didn't. Let's put it in and see how it does. Okay, that is my old rapid, my rapid shutdown. This is my sister's that I talked about. I have not yet plugged in this line. We got the jumper in here because this is the last rapid, sh rapid shutdown in the in the system. Let's plug it in. Maybe we we'll even hear it click as it turns on. Click, click, just like we'd expect. I guess that's these two relays that were popping in. Let me test this middle one. This is should be live anyway. This is coming from the other from the west face. And it's 400 volts like it was before. 
but it was these two outer ones <coughs> that didn't work before. But here we have 400 volts on the left. Four hundred volts, and then on the right, three hundred and twenty volts. Everything seems to be live now with this rapid shutdown. With that rapid shutdown, it seems to be dead. To f confirm for sure, I'm going to go down now to the inverters, and we'll do a final test on all of the strings on the inverters. All right, here we are in the garage. This is the inverter number two. Inverter on the right. Line A, 320 volts. Line B, 215 volts. Line C, 328 volts. Let's go over the other inverter. Line A, 400 volts. Line B, 400 volts. Everything is live. And with that other rapid shutdown in place, Having that other rubber shutdown in place seems to be the key. Let's see by chance what happens now that everything's good with that rubber shutdown. See if these lights work. Hmm. So we did not get the red LED flashing, but the blue green now works. Please tell me what I need to do, if there's something I can do to fix that other rapid shutdown, or if there's something we can do on a warranty, or what the best path is. You did request in an email that I show you the wiring of the five wire cable from, uh, from this button on up. I'll do that now. We're in the upper portion of the roof. This is the west face, east face over there. This rapid shutdown on the west face, notice I've labeled this, this line coming into the top, is from the rapid shutdown controller. And the line the wires are red, green, black, orange, yellow in that order starting on this end. This line goes to rapid shutdown number 2. This is rapid shutdown number 1. Also red, blue, black, orange, yellow. Plug that back in. The lid back on. We'll go over to the other side. This is the east face. This is in this is rapid shutdown number two. Okay, this one here, this line on the left, from rapid shutdown number one on the west face, the upper roof, the one we just checked. Again, red, blue, black, orange, yellow. Unplug this and the same on the bottom. This yellow is, is a little tucked around, but it's there. Red, blue, black, orange, yellow. And this bottom one, as labeled here, says, or goes to at, uh, rapid shutdown number three on the south face and lower roof. Let's go there next. This is the final rapid shutdown, as labeled here, from rapid shutdown number two on the east face of the upper roof. Red, blue, black, orange, yellow, and down below we have a jumper from pins between pins three and four. Now I'll go down and open up the rapid shutdown controller box to show it. This is the wiring in the rapid shutdown box, or the controller, I mean. Notice, and here is the broken LED I was talking about, too. Notice this clip on this, there's a clip on this side. The clip over here on this side is broken off. Interestingly, the red LED is on. Not sure why that is, it doesn't seem like to me it should be. But here we are, so red feeding the red LED, and then a jumper to the green LED on the X2 terminals. Yellow coming to the red LED, orange coming to the green LED, and the black and the blue to the button. Alright, I'm seeing another problem here. 
These, everything is live. I'll just do it on this inverter. I've checked the other inverter. It's live too. You'll have to just trust me. But 320 volts on line A. Line B, 215. And line C, 322. Let's step outside. Look at the rapid shutdown. Interestingly, the red light is on. I got the impression the red light was only supposed to be on when you push the button that it would flash then the green light would turn on. Maybe the red light's always on, which would be neat to know that things are live. Let's push the button and see what happens. We're not getting anywhere. The red light's still on, safe light's not on, but let's go check voltage. Line A, zero volts. So the rapid shutdown controller must have done something good there. Line C, I skipped line B and I'll tell you, show, show you why now. Zero volts there, but line B I think will be live. No, it worked. In past instances, line A and C have gone dead, but B has stayed live. But this is good. Let's check out this side. Line A. Zero volts. Line B, whoa, 400 volts. So something is still alive for some reason. Line B, look at my notes, we can figure out what line B is. Inverter one, line B, is the west face of the upper roof. <clears throat> that one is still alive. That is. That is rapid shutdown number one. And the red light is still on. Now let's try to fire things back up. I understand the rapid shutdowns take a few minutes to, to, for the relays to pop and everything, so I'm gonna turn this off and we'll come back when, in a few minutes. I'm back. So at least on this part. So this is inverter number one over here with only two, lots, two strings. 400 volts on A, I'm going to B, also 400 volts. And then over here to inverter number two. Line A, 320 volts. Line B, 215 volts. Line C, 285 volts. So, why didn't that one line shut down, and why does the rapid shutdown button always show red? That line that wouldn't shut down is from, line, uh, from rap the first rapid shutdown. So we've established in prior video that the, you know, the third rapid shutdown is dead, and maybe the first one has a problem too.